Volcom 350NF, 950NF, 951NF, Elastomeric Waterproof Traffic Deck Coating System. Volcom 350NF, 950NF, 951NF is a modified polyurethane traffic deck coating system composed of a base coat, a heavy-duty intermediate coat, and a top coat. This unique waterproofing system is designed to have tenacious adhesion, extreme impact and abrasion resistance, along with remarkable chemical stability. The elastomeric properties of the system's components enable the complete assembly to give and work with the concrete slab, bridging the shrinkage cracks. This parking deck system is designed for waterproofing concrete slabs and protecting occupied areas underneath from water damage. It also protects the concrete surface from the damaging effects of water, de-icing salts, chemicals, gasoline, oils, and antifreeze. Volcom 350NF is a one-part, low-odor, low-VOC polyurethane coating used as the elastomeric waterproof membrane of the system and is available in an R roller grade and an SL self-leveling grade for vertical and horizontal application. Volcom 950NF is a two-part aromatic low-odor VOC compliant high solids polyurethane coating that provides a chemical resistant weatherproofing wearing surface. And the top coat, Volcom 951NF, is a two-part aliphatic low-odor VOC compliant high solids polyurethane coating that provides a chemical and UV resistant color stable weatherproof wearing surface. The following products are recommended for use with the Volcam 350NF, 950NF, 951NF deck coating system. Dimonic 100 is a one-part moisture-curing gun-grade polyurethane sealant used for sealing cracks, control joints, drain detailing, and for use in forming cans. A closed-cell polyethylene backup material should be used in control joints and at the base of cans to prevent three-sided adhesion and to control the depth of the sealant. Volcam Primer No. 171 is a one-part film-forming primer to be used on porous surfaces. Trem Prime Non-Porous Primer is a one-part primer for use on non-porous substrates such as metals and plastics. Volcam Primer No. 191QD is a one-part interlaminary primer for use when applying a fresh coat of Volcam urethane after the preceding coat has been exposed for long periods and or has lost its surface tack. Trem Prime Multi-Surface Urethane Primer is a VOC-compliant, quick-drying, two-part primer, excellent for use between two layers of urethane deck coating and can be used as a primer on all common construction substrates, including wood, concrete, PVC, and steel. Trem Co Epoxy Primer is a two-part epoxy primer that's used with sand to level surfaces before applying the base coat. The recommended aggregate for use with this deck coating system is a 20 to 40 mesh or 0.6 to 0.9 millimeter diameter silica sand or alumina oxide, which imparts a textured finish and contributes to wear resistance. Before your surface receives a coating, sealant or liquid applied flashing material, it must be sound, clean and dry, eliminating any foreign material that may interfere with adhesion. Be sure to clean away any dirt, dust, and other particles, wax, oil, grease, tar, asphalt, mold, mildew, paint, sealers, coatings, and curing agents. The concrete shall be water cured and attain a 4,000 PSI minimum compressive strength. The concrete finish shall be a light steel trowel followed by a fine hair broom or equivalent ICRI number two to number four CSP. Moisture content in the concrete must be lower than 4.5% as measured using a Tremex CME4 moisture meter. Depending on concrete construction and job site location, additional concrete testing may be required. Please contact your local Tremco sales or technical representative for more information. Surfaces must be free of defects that may telegraph and show through the finished coating. Surfaces that are rough, such as fins, ridges, exposed aggregate, honeycombs, and deep broom finishes, must be leveled and made smooth by applying a coat of Tremco Epoxy Primer, sanded, or equivalent filler material. Shrinkage cracks that are 1 16th of an inch or 3 millimeters wide and structural cracks from building movement regardless of width should be ground out to a minimum 1 quarter inch wide by 1 half inch deep. Apply a bead of Dimonic 100 sealant in the crack and tool flush. For control joints, install a backer rod, 1 8 inch to 1 quarter inch, 3 millimeter to 6 millimeter diameter larger than the joint. Set depth of backer rod to control the depth of the sealant. 
Depth of sealant is measured from the top of the concrete surface. See Tremco application instructions for proper depth of sealant. For horizontal to vertical joints, lay the backer rod into the corner at the juncture of all horizontal and vertical surfaces, such as curbs, wall sections, columns, or penetrations through the deck. Then, apply a bead of Dymonic 100 sealant 1 inch or 25 millimeters wide over the backer rod. Tool the sealant bead to form a 45 degree cant. Use sufficient pressure to force out any entrapped air and to ensure a complete wetting of the surface. Remove excess sealant from the deck or wall surface. Be sure to tool sealant flush with the surface. Allow the sealant to cure 4 to 6 hours at standard temperature and humidity. Apply a 25 mil thick detail coat of Volcom 350 NF roller grade 6 inches or 15.24 centimeters wide centered over all untreated cracks, all routed and sealed cracks, and over all cold joints. Feather edge the terminating edge of the detail coat to prevent these edges from showing through the finished coating. Apply Volcom 350 NF at 25 mils or 0.64 millimeters thick with a roller or notch trowel, including over all detail coats, but excluding expansion joints. The Volcom 350 NF needs four to six hours to cure at standard temperature and humidity and will have a slight surface tack to aid in the adhesion of the Volcom 950 NF. Premix the Volcom 950 NF base component, part A, to assure no settlement of the material is in the bottom of the pail and the color of the material is consistent with no streaks or striations. Open, mix, and use one pail at a time. Empty contents of the curative part B into the base part A. Mix the two components for one to two minutes. The Volcom 950 NF coating must be mixed thoroughly before application to eliminate any settling. Apply the first coat of Volcom 950 NF to driving lanes, ramps, and turn areas with a squeegee or medium nap roller at a thickness of 12 wet mils or 0 0.30 millimeters. Be sure to apply Volcom 950 NF in sections easily reached for back rolling as you will broadcast 20 to 40 mesh or 0.6 to 0.9 millimeter diameter silica sand into the wet Volcom 950 NF. Immediately following application of the coating, broadcast the sand at a rate of 15 to 18 pounds per gallon or 0.5 kilograms per liter of Volcom 950 NF. Back roll the sand into the coating to ensure all the aggregate is evenly distributed. Allow the first coat of Volcom 950 NF to cure two to four hours. Once cured, repeat the steps for a second coat of Volcom 950 NF applied over the entire surface of the deck. Again, be sure to apply Volcom 950 NF in sections easily reached for back rolling as you will again broadcast sand or other aggregate into the wet Volcom 950 NF. Broadcast the sand at a rate of 12 and a half pounds per gallon of Volcom 950 NF. Allow the second coat of Volcom 950 NF to cure two to four hours. Apply Volcom 951 NF top coat with a medium nap solvent resistant roller at a rate of 100 to 125 square feet per gallon or 12 to 15 wet mills. Apply this final coat to the entire coated area. Allow the top coat to cure for 24 hours. Please see application instructions and review the cure chart table for temperatures and humidities outside of ambient ranges. Tremco recommends a minimum of 24 hours after the final top coat has cured before allowing vehicular traffic on the deck. For complete application instructions, including cleanup tips, alternate methods, and common industry application issues, please visit our website at www.tremcosealants.com. Note that application techniques may vary depending on regional climate differences. For information specific to your region, contact your local Tremco sales or technical representative.